Yo, what's up guys? I uh, just exited the gym. Uh, had a good session on my legs today and I wanted to just do an update video. Uh, I'm about a month and a half, two months into taking uh, HGH. I bought a new uh, supply of that pharmaceutical grade Omnitrol. And so far so good, like my other videos. I just wanted to update on this one though. But I'm really noticing a major improvement on uh, musculature now. Uh, compared to before before I was like, oh, yeah, it's helping my muscles. They're getting a bit more harder solid if you Saw in the previous videos, but now They're really starting to pop and muscles that uh, never did before like for example Rectus femoris, which is one of the quads. It's like the the one that's right on the, uh, the front of the leg That is like defining in itself right now Never had that before like I could feel it if I palpated it I'm a massage therapist, so I know how to do that. Uh, but now, and I know the human body very well, but now it's like, I can literally see it. The other thing is uh, my lats are, are fucking going really well. And that's largely to do because I'm training them as hard as well. But it's also, I think, due to this as well. And uh, some guys who I work with, uh, they were even mentioning, they're like, Mark, you're, because they're all, they're all like, uh, weight, weight train a lot. And they're like, Mark, your lats are fucking getting huge, bro. That they know that uh, what I'm doing. I told them all about it. And um, the other thing, which is pretty well a first for me, like when I was a bit skinnier, you could kind of maybe see them, but now they're really starting to pop. Uh, is the uh, serr serratus anterior, which is like sometimes they get confused for the ribs because they kind of have that fan pattern, but uh, it's a muscle on the front of the ribs there. And uh, that you see them a lot with fighters. They they have serratus anterior because it's evolved in pushing. And uh, so that's popping, that's good. And I feel like also things like my quads are just fucking like, they've always, my, my quad, sorry, not my quads, my uh, calves, my gastrox, and I guess soleus. Like they're just solid. I, I'm, I woke up some days and they were just fucking tight as fuck. Like I could just tell like at night they were growing, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. But like I've felt them, I'm like, holy shit, like I've never, never felt that before. So what I'm thinking, just to uh, sum things up, is, um, is I'm, I think I'm really starting to see the, the muscle growth from it, literally the growth hormone. And from what I read, that's usually, that would be, make sense. Because usually it takes around that two month mark, they said, to really, eat, before you really see the benefits from taking this type of dose. I'm sure if you took higher dose for a short period of time, you might have seen, you might see faster benefits. Like, wait. Um, weightlifters and uh, bodybuilders do but again that's not what I'm doing although I'm taking uh, a little bit higher than a therapeutic dose so I guess I'm on the realm of, uh, of, of a kind of a sports I'm, I'm doing it for sports rehab but as well for getting benefits and the way I see it the more I strengthen and build up my shit now just a little bit like I don't, I don't, I don't want to get huge like I'm already got a decent frame and, and, and muscle to be honest so I can put on muscle without HGH no problem uh, it's nice to have it. It's nice to have the recovery uh, from it. Like I've done some days I've done like leg days, like two, three day times in a row and my legs are fine and I don't recommend that doing that, but I, I just did it. Like I, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to work my legs for a few days and sure enough to, to get them really like working well. And that's probably why I'm seeing the rectus femoris uh, popping in the, and the uh, gastrox, which is the calf muscle. So, because I have been working them a lot more as well, but I think the the HGH is really uh, contributing to the gains as well, and uh, it's doing that through obviously protein synthesis. It's building new muscle fibers. Muscle generally doesn't build like new cells. Like that's why if you damage muscle, if you do a tear, like I've I've worked with guys with uh, bicep tears and calf tears, like that shit doesn't grow back. You can sew it back, but it doesn't like regenerate like other types of tissue like uh, epithelial tissue or like some organ tissue does you know what I mean really quickly like the skin grows can can heal itself obviously has a scar but it, it regenerates really well muscle doesn't but this HGH is um, proliferating new cells I believe which is good because then that and the, I think the longer the older I get the less likelihood and being an active guy like I am like I skateboard and I hit the gym all the time and, you know, even something unforeseen like uh, falling down stairs or car accident or something, you know, having a little bit more strength is a good thing when you're older, right? Because you can really hurt yourself. 
people break their hips and things. Obviously, I'm not at the age where I fall and I can't get up, but it's like, it's still something to take into consideration. And um, I'm hoping that it also has other, not just the muscle tissue, but as well, the whole frame. Like, the way I see it, it's like giving my body, my tissue a little bit of an upgrade, uh, doing it for like three months. And then going off it for like a, at least probably a year. I probably won't do it for like a year after I, I do it. I finish. First of all, I can't really afford it. And did it, I did it for what I needed to do and then move on, right? And then continue working out, continue eating well, continue with eat my protein and creatine and shit like that. I'm sure I'll do just fine in the, in the athletic department with that extra benefit of now fucking uh, solidified all my joints and everything and added a little bit more cells to the mix. <laughs> And probably reju re brought the num my uh, biological clock back a few years at least on everything. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, thank you for everybody for your support. You know, I'm making these videos. And sometimes I'm getting some people comment or send me messages. That's awesome. Please continue to do so if there's anything you want me to talk about or any questions for me. Okay. Thanks for watching. Peace.